so in his own, uh, his own zone, and for Rizla, just a hard way to maybe get a cancel, maybe force an ult from the Faramis. Yeah, very conventional way in dealing against Malphite as well, during the neutral objective flicker, penalty zone, will be the answer. Will that hero be the hero that delivered them the crown? For the first time in Aura plus the LID history, the crown. But remember, if RQ picked this up, it's, it's been a while. It's been quite some time. It has been. It, it really has been so it far. It might be the fifth time. So we're going to throw it over to the casters for the final game. Boys, deliver it with brilliance. Showdown for the silverware. One last game to ascend to the galaxies. Who will be the kings of the galaxy? Who will be the MPL ID Season 14 champions? Welcome it is Team Liquid ID against RRQ Hoshi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the land of dawn for game number seven. It has now come to this, the final game in the match. And we're seeing familiar picks and unfamiliar picks as well. Skylar on the Ixia with the war cry against an assassin. A bold move. A desperate time for Keskut. We'll see how this plays out, man. The troll in the hands of Witty will definitely be a big problem for set of RRQ. We've seen it happen before, but along with that, the two purifies. RRQ have a lot more safety built in, but Team Liquid ID will have the initiative. They picked the Ixia and Mathilda. Yesterday it was picked up by TLID, but now it's an RRQ. What are the differences for this pick against yesterday, Arashi? Ooh, hold on a second. Good player. Ooh, scary stuff. What's the difference? I feel like this time they are not. They're up against an assassin with a lot of mobility. Actually, they're up against a composition with a lot of mobility in general. Harith, Ling, Cho. So they actually three members because they know they require that extra bit of survivability. They're going to be playing on the back foot, trying to actually survive initially. But in the early game, they're going to try and use this Alpha Mathilda combo as leverage. But look at Avian. Put it away as fast as possible, already. Shut the lights. Also, Edon has a Edong, purify, but Fabian will be able to dodge away. The usurper. This is not how they wanted it to go. Sizzlejin so saving the Spear of Alpha for the right moment, but Fabian able to dodge out of it. A great win already early on for Team Liquid ID. Two kills, a thousand gold ahead. The game flagged by the new application, go pay Fabian with his Ling in game six, became the second fastest farmer in MPL ID season 14, reaching level five at nine minutes and six seconds. Penalty zone into the back line. Sizzlejin still able to collect the retribution, the hard guard on Aran. Purple Ball still being taken right now. So Randishan is out, a bit of damage, but another realm will be sustained over. That's it, welcome, and a flicker tyrant finds the head kill. Ooh. Chomp from Dyron locks down and sets in stone RRQ. They fight back. Wow, interesting situation there. RRQ going straight for the. Oh, hang on a minute. A little barrage. And a oh. flicker, too. Witty, not level four. We'll have to respect Edoc. Right, what I was about to say is that they weren't level four yet. They forced to fight pre level four, got the turtle that got them to level four, and then they pushed the tempo and went straight for Team Liquid ID. It's like they knew the timers on Fabian getting his purple buff right there, knowing that he would most likely want to get that first before going to the fight. Now it's back to equal grounds, and Weedy is level four. Fabian pulled back. Sutton goes in for the Spear of Alpha, but Fabian is able to get the Finch Boys to escape. Still, they dance with death, and Fabian likes that odds. And now, of course, Iran. Down bottom, it feels like he's not rotating as much as he was yesterday with the pick. What is he trying to achieve, Arashi? Oh, hang on a second, really? He chased down. Back back as well, but there's no kill threat with just a Mathilda and a Paramus. Not enough burst at all, but look at Rins now. A bit out of position. This is a threat. Oh, oh. Ling, man. Switzerland has been very generous with the Spear of Alpha. I don't know if he's conditioning Fabian to expect it, but wow. this is how it's going. And Skylar. This is the second time he's popped that ulti because the farm. Just to make sure that he doesn't get stuck in a weird situation there, uh -oh. avoiding the lane technically. Yeah. And they try to pressure the purple buff that is Fabian's. And Dyron is here as well. No, oh, it. There we go. It's gonna be the kick down. Fabian's having the blades, able to knock him out with a penalty zone as well. Another realm comes down, but we will lose his life. No! He's still getting oh. the Gudo out of Winnie! That's his welcome, but they're all gonna melt down! As Aaron Shiki has rotated all the way from the gold lane. Fabian had the purple buff. He got it now. He has slain Rins together with Aaron Shiki. Winnie bobbing and weaving, escaping death once more. Oh, oh, 6 This turtle is a menace. Just like that. Again, a thousand gold lead for Tivik ID. Now with a turtle, 1.5. Witty on the troll. An absolute menace. Difficult to deal with. Always around. Just to be an um, absolute nuisance. RRQ, with all the prior picks that they have, that Alpha so far hasn't been able to find any success. Let's take a look at the combo hero stat. Two wins and zero losses so far. The Mathilda and the Ixia was picked yesterday by Team Liquid ID when they, uh, when they took down Pikachon Alpha. And it was first picked by Kez not this season, it was last season with Bridgeton Alpha, Ixia and Mathilda. This season it was them too, but do you remember if yesterday Aaron Shiki went for the war cry? Because I don't think it was war cry for Aaron yesterday. I don't think it was either. This might be the, um, the idea might be to just get the war cry proc and then let everyone else, everyone else do the job, right? Let Sisuke maybe burst someone down and apply it from far away. It could be the synergy they're going for right here. 
But again, the problem still remains. RRQ can't really do much when it comes to engaging with the mobility from Team Liquid ID. The Mathilda can't get a good catch, and so can the, the Paramus. It really is only in the hands of Dyron, which is why we see him go for these big flicker Daytona well complete. Dyron has to lock down the lane, right? Davian, he will run rampant as he used to. And of course, this time around the Bratz has huge responsibilities behind its back. Well, of course, Iran going to company that mid laner of the DLID, but Witty, again, just ever so enthusiastically opens up the map like that. Either proxy the circle ego trying to get something, but look at this, Aaron. Oh, you're almost cornered by Dyron, but look at the duel on the top side, man. Whoa! 2 v one on Sutsu Jin. With a freshly out Sutsu Jin. Or to use the fear of Alma Fabian with a very ambitious dive. But it's on to one Alpha, they got. Respect the Alpha, man. They do. They have to. But Zotokin is far away. Turtle, though. Spawns. And Pavian as well. But Pavian can catch up with the Finch boys. RQ, though. They have control of the turtle bit and they advance further. Witty is just here to cover. Ooh. Wins, though. Being really up front. But here comes Skyler. No guiding in for a while, though. Is this the win, though? Oh, see Halbert for his item. Go to Kundo. That's his welcome over to Pavian. We'll be able to get an opening right now. He will Skyler. try to go for the jump on the Skyler with another rope. Nice shot of Zotokin with the Retri battle. Time to play for the midst of it all. Pavian escaping. No red tree on him, but RQ decides to go for the mid lane instead of invading the jungle. Aran trying to clear the wave all alone. Goes to the hammer swing, stocked up, and Spear of Alpha over to him. Flick around Aaron now with Zaman Force trying to save the turret from being taken. And he will be successful at that. He will stop RQ from sieging the tier one. Witty? Oh, whoa. Secure. Away. Yeah, guaranteeing the purple buff. But that might just cost them the mid turret. Great moves from RQ. But what's fascinating is that how early that full barrage was popped earlier. Fabian almost seems caught off guard there. But then Rince moved backwards just to ensure that the Netherrealm actually reaches Skyler. And that could be the idea here, using that full barrage to really zone out the Squishier members. If Fabian was on a tank, was not a fighter, he can kind of get into that danger zone and still go for the retry. But now that he's on a Ling, we've talked about this uh, matchup before, an assassin against a marksman. If the Ling can't really one-shot the marksman, the damage can't really be tanked up by something like a Ling. Yeah, Fabian was thinking about it, right? In that turtle fight, he was about to jump towards Skyler, but Edoc. The great cover it just hides him. Fabian might look for oh. the steal. We got it! He gets it! Wow! You thief in the night! Crazy Fabian, flavor fave! Stealing it away from an alpha. No, that's quite impressive. Sneaking his way. Like you said, realize a thief in the night. A total blunder there. But look at the pressure here immediately. Wins once more, being the frontliner. Staying confident with the purify. Fabian going for a split now, having the purple buff, but the bottom time shall fall. So both teams kind of equal, but ooh, hang on a second, A1. Popping a full barrage. From here on, Shiki respecting the bull barrage potential. But that's a hard card, too. A big resource, man. Two big resources. Yeah. Hero Shiki hasn't been able to find much success with the Herod. Oh. This ball. Playoff. This over a lot. Winning with the kick. On to Skyler. There's no follow up here, but there's no full barrage either. Aaron Shiki doesn't have his mind force. But we'll be able to shut some damage. Now Rinse. Back to the pure fire. Another round with Ive. Fabian. Oh, Fabian. Tap as a plate. Skyler falling. Fabian. And now Edoc is next. Sutsu Jin in the midst of it all, trying to get some damage. Now Winnie's still able to escape. Sutsu Jin goes in for a desperate spear of Alpha, but gets caught by Flavor Fave. It's a triple kill for Fabian. The castle walls crumbling down slowly. TLID. They charge oh. even faster. Yes, oh. Gil gets Dyron. The Dino. 
chased down by a hest kill. Tyrant will fall. They will not have control over the Lord. It will be TLIDs to take. Dangerous preparation for RRQ. They sent Tyrant to the top side. They know that Fabian was free to rotate around, but they don't respect the speed of the rotation in the bottom lane, overextending, even with the Guiding Wind, even with the Circling Eagle, RRQ were just too far up, and they had nothing left to deal with Fabian. And you cannot do that. You have to ration everything perfectly to try and deal with the troll. With the Link, even with the Hammer to a degree, RRQ suffered the price. 4k gold behind, only the First Lord, but it's not looking that good. But they do have a very solid high ground. Yeah, and let's rewind a little bit, right? That fight down bottom, Vince popped the Nether Realm, but Skylar was out of range, so he had no cover behind that Nether Realm. And Fabian just dived into the back line, Dived and ate Skylar alive. So this Ling will possibly be a problem again. We were talking about this in the draft. How will you escape from oh! the Ling? Assassinated before the Netherrealm even comes through. Around with the penalty zone. Fabian is going wild. And he dives Fabian. under the turret. He will fall, but he is already bursted. He is already wasted resources away from the Kings. Rex, Regum, Kaon shook again once more. TLID, they advance even further. The Lord on the top side still, Team Liquid ID. 5k gold ahead, all things considered. Fabian actually got take, guts taken out right there. It's a small victory if you look at the gold difference. Still managed to be held at the 4k mark. RQ wants more, can they play this patient enough? Even earlier with the Netherrealm, with everything uh -oh. used, they weren't able to actually survive long enough in the fight. And now Skylar once again is showing in the lane boldly, impudently. Oh, this Ixiel, it becomes a very, very hard game to play. Once it scales into the late game, and look at Adam Shiki. Three item Hi. power spike. But hey! Who says Onyx is not in the finals? Kyrie right there! Yeah, with Buddy. Yeah, with the whole gang, almost. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Buddy. 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 And a fist bump as well right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, 50 seconds though, our Akio. They've banked on this composition. The early game, at least, has not been kind to them. This mid game, in theory, is one of the strongest points for Team Liquid ID. And they're still, by all means, at a 4k gold lead only. So, RRQ, they're trying to play it as slow as possible. And they're avoiding overextending too far, ensuring that Edom at least can still get some saves using the Guiding Wind. And that means that Team Liquid ID can farm even faster. They've reached level 15, though, especially Fabian. So, at this point, any kind of farm advantage will be useful for an item swap, but it won't affect the overall power. You know, now of course, Fabian. Oh. Terrorizes the kingdom. Wow. Look at what they want to throw into just taking down the usurper. This guy, it feels like there is no room for error when he has his hands on the link. Ooh, we'll have to see what uh, Skylar is building, man, because at this point, he's going to be forced to build a win of nature. He, he needs something because Fabian is bursting him down a bit too quickly. Maybe for this. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay. Ooh, RRQ, oh. look, look already. He's only Skylar away, completely away from the team fight. RRQ don't know what to do. They are scattered by the cavalry. Their formation has been broken. Oh. And Fabian claims the Lord. Impeccable, impeccable work by the cavalry, Witty. For once, he was alone in the middle lane, but he got the job done, and they get a fleet free Lord. Is that the orange rock taken by, Sky, uh, by Skylar, actually? No win of nature just yet. Rose Gold Meteor, actually, for Skylar. We'll have to see RRQ again, catching up. We're at the 14 minute mark, and generally, in two or three minutes will truly be at the late late game where the goal difference will be impactful but it won't really be game changing rq holding on for dear life right here but are they being too greedy with this itemization will mathilda alone with the faramis be able to save the ixia from the thrust from the assassination attempts of the usurper five items for the usurper fabian this might be his stage to prove that his nothing short of a brilliance and now rq oh. They need to defend their base, but their high ground, Arashi, is it any good? It's pretty good with the full barrage, but again, it's not about the damage output from so, from, from so far away. It's also how long can you defend? How can you stop the dive? Look at Witty. Maybe no! Oh, Go around, Witty. Jump to the Deku Dell. Another round to save them, to save the kingdom. Once and for all, baby. Little bit boys escaping away. Hey, no! Vicky will go for the base. The on it. The castle walls demolished. The road to glory denied. The kings have fallen. On the night of the revolution, on the night of fate, the cavalry do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of the kings. They push, they scream, and they charge! The revolution is complete. The cavalry, they occupy the castle. They break free from the subjugation of the kingdom. The kingdom is no more. Their nightmares conquered. Their road has never been easy. 11 seasons of failures. 11 seasons of torment. 11 seasons of what ifs. But the season 
a band of young stallions take charge. And for the first time in the organization's history, they have their hands on their first ever MPL ID trophy. Team Liquid ID are your MPL ID season 14 champions. It was close, it was competitive, but almost just simply isn't enough. Team Liquid ID with the dream underdog story in their debut season for three rookies they have attained. Yes.